Hello, welcome to the POV point of view stories for Search for Meaning. Same story, let's start. Chris has always hated vegetables. He has only liked steak. He has only eaten steak. Always. Since he was a little baby. Since he was a little baby, Chris has hated vegetables. Since he was a little baby, he has only eaten steak. He has only liked steak. Of course, his mother has been worried about him. She has been worried about him because he never ate vegetables. His mother has admonished him every day, every day since he was a baby until recently. His mother has admonished him. She has admonished him and she has said, Chris, eat your vegetables. You must eat your vegetables. Well, she has admonished him every day, but Chris has ignored her every day. He has never eaten his vegetables. He has never listened to her. He has continued to eat steak and only steak. He has eaten steak for breakfast. He has eaten steak for lunch. He has eaten steak for dinner every day since he was a baby. He has been a steak-eaten baby all his life. Of course, this has had unintended consequences. Because he has eaten only steak, he has become fat very quickly. He has become very, very fat. In fact, each year he has gotten fatter and fatter and fatter very, very fast until finally he weighed 725 pounds when he was five years old. Of course, this was terrible. And at that time, when he became five, his mother became very worried. And so she decided to pursue a new strategy. She pursued a new strategy with Chris. She said to Chris one day, Chris, you know, they kill poor, kind little cows to make steak. And you love animals. So Chris, follow your conscience. Chris became upset. He thought about the little poor cows being killed. Well, what ensued next was that Chris stopped eating steak. He completely stopped. And he learned to love vegetables. He ate vegetables every day. And of course, because he ate vegetables every day, he became thin and healthy and strong. He was a happy little boy. And that is the end of our first point of view story for Search for Meaning. Next, let's go to the future. In the future, 100 years from now, in space or something, I don't know. Into the future, there will be a boy named Chris. This boy will hate vegetables. He's going to hate them. He'll never eat vegetables. He'll only like steak, and he'll only eat steak. Of course, his mother's going to admonish him every day to eat vegetables. She'll say, Chris, eat your vegetables. You must eat your vegetables. There will be unintended consequences. He will become fatter. And fatter and fatter. He won't want to be fat, but it will be an unintended consequence of eating steak and only steak. So he'll become a very fat little boy. In fact, he'll become super fat, obese. He'll weigh 725 pounds. He'll only be five years old. Now, of course, his mom is going to be very worried. And she'll decide to pursue a new strategy. 
One day she's going to say to him, Chris, they kill poor, kind little cows to make steak. And you love animals. So, Chris, follow your conscience. And Chris will become very upset, of course. And he'll decide to stop eating steak. In fact, what will ensue is that he'll stop eating steak completely. He'll learn to love vegetables. And he'll become thin and super healthy and very strong. Chris will become a happy, healthy, thin little boy. And that is the end of our point of view stories for Search for Meaning. I hope you enjoy them. Always enjoy your learning. Enjoy your listening. Smile. Big, deep breaths. (sighs) Move your body. Strong physiology. Always. I will see you next time. Bye-bye.